Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you guys doing? Well, I've been <laughs> I've been kind of prepping for this uh, hair jig video for like four days, and uh, I keep finding more hair jigs down here. And then and then I went fishing, and and I think I'm finally getting to it here on on Wednesday. So I'm gonna try to get this this video done and up today on Wednesday. So um, if you guys are following you know my channel and you watch my shorts, when I went fishing last week, um, the water was still very cold, 42 degrees. It was after we had those cold nights, and even though it was a nice day, it was a beautiful day out, the water was still 42, I think it was 46 by the time I left, but the fish were not active. They were, they were definitely, everything I marked on sonar was on the bottom. I threw the jerk bait for a long time, all I caught was that one pickerel on it. Um, and then after, you know, the afternoon came, I said, I'm gonna just try some different things. So I tried the blade bait, and the hair jig. And I did get a small eater bite on the blade bait. Of course, he got off at the boat, so I didn't get a picture of him. Um, but then I switched to, this, to the hair jig and caught that largemouth that if you guys follow me on Instagram, Mark and H Bass, you saw that, that, that bass on there and I did the short on it too on, that I showed you guys. Um, I actually did go fishing yesterday and had a good day, even the wind was terrible. The sound on my, uh, on my camera is, is there's no sound. <laughs> All you hear is wind. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, splice those together this week and, and then give you guys some, uh, get some, get some, some, uh, get some, uh, some on the water footage of that for you guys soon. But, um, I thought I would just do this, this hair jig video before hair jig season kind of maybe gets a little less of a, uh, less of what I'm going to do. So um, I pulled out my two big hair jig boxes and I thought I'd show you some of the ones I like to use and how I like to, to fish them. Uh, some of these I'll remember the names of, some I will not. Um, I, I, I've caught fish on all these. I like all of them. If you guys have ever seen um, the Punisher hair jigs, they're really nice. I got some of those in here. What color was this color? This olive orange color I always liked right here. So that's just Punisher jigs in that section. This is another, that's that. I always like that that brown orange Punisher jig. It's a nice one. And this one is a little different than the ones that I use most of the time. This is almost set up like, more like a jig that I would kind of throw on the bottom. Because as you guys will see here, I, 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 I tend to swim the hair jig a lot. Not that you couldn't swim this, but this is more of a, a finesse you know, bottom dragging type because you've got the weed guard here, but it still works. It's a good, good hair jig. And this kind of, this section here is all, see if there's any different colors. Here's just the black. These are all, I think three eighths, yeah. Here's the black and blue one of that Punisher hair jig. Three eighths ounce. I think most of these are three eighths. But I think this section is all Punisher. Let me just see if there's any. There's that that uh, <clears throat> brown orange one, like in the pack still, which is a color you guys know I love in many different baits. So here's a different one. This is uh, the camo color in that Punisher. If you guys want to get a good look at it, there. It's like it's got some chartreuse and some brown. I think that's all the different colors. I don't know if there's any just plain black ones, let's see. Which is usually my favorite color. Oh, here we go. I knew if I dug around here enough, I'd... Here's the black, black and red Punisher hair jig. And I believe these are, yeah, these are all 3 8 ounce. So this, that's more of a jig that I would throw and kind of fish the bottom with, with a piece of pork on as a trailer. Now some of these other ones here now, I don't see now that's a Punisher there that's out of the pack and that's just plain black. I must have only had one. I don't see any other ones that are just plain black color. But I pick up a lot of these over the years, you know, that I don't know the names of. Different like perch patterns. And this is the, the kind I tend to throw more, these type. Some of these I won't even remember, you know, where I got them when I got them, but just different, you know, brown hair jigs. Those are orange and brown ones are pretty cool. Put one of those out and show it to you. And some of them are different types of hair they use when they, when, you know, the, the person who tied them ties them. Like these are really, 
This is this almost, ow, <laughs> the hook was in there somewhere and I found it. This almost feels more like a marabou type. But you can just imagine those, that undulating in the water, that hair on that hair jig. But you guys can see that I've just got bags and bags and bags. And if you're wondering if I like brown and orange, this is just some different, different types. Brown and orange. And what I like, like these are, I used to buy these up in New York. When my mom lived uh, around Great Sagandaga, there was a, an outdoor store. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. And they used to have these hair jigs. And whenever I'd go up there, I'd grab a bunch of them. But really, if I can get one out. I used to throw a lot, this one right here, this brown and orange one. And I would throw it usually with like a piece of super pork as a trailer. And this is the pork junior. So if, if you guys use pork, a junior size is, is better. As you can see here, I want to make a mess here. But you can see this tiny color, or tiny color. Tiny size of this. I'm trying not to drip all this. That's a, that's a small piece of pork. So if I use that on a hair jig, if I use pork on a hair jig, that's what I'm using. I'm using one of these junior size ones in whatever color I use. But I'm not going to try to mess around with the pork too much and have it dripping all over the place. But that 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 brown one caught me a lot of fish back in the day. And this is just a, I, I, I don't know if it's a no-name brand, but I used to just get these up in New York when I go visit my mom at the local tackle shops. Uh, let's see, this is like more of that perch colored ones. I like those. This was, uh, I used to get these at Dave's Bait. Dave's Bait and Tackle was in Mayfield, New York by Great Saganaga. Great guy. I used to go there all the time and he, he closed down his shop because he used to have it right next to his house and he sold all his stuff. And I used to get these, I mean, you know, it's old school when the, the staples are all rusty. It was a dollar. Off the beaten path, bait and tackle, Cross Hill Road, Richmondville, New York. Who knows how old this is? But he used to have these hair jigs, and I'd get these and do great with them. I used to love them. But a dollar for a hair jig. Those were the days. <laughs> Those were the days. But just like, just bags and bags of different ones. And here you can see these ones. Here's all those ones that I used to buy from Dave. And this is all that, those... Those old ones, those old school off the beaten path, off the beaten path. Now, any of you guys out there know that company, when they existed, where they, you know, when they were around, but these are all those old hair jigs. Here's, here's one I'll show you out of the pack. I mean, I've caught so many fish using these, so many fish, especially that brown color. Did great with that. And here's, uh, you know, more of, you know, ones I probably bought at Dave's. That's just like the black with a chartreuse white with a red oh and a hook just went through the bag right into my finger almost like a like a bait scale i don't know what you would call that not necessarily a perch but just a, a cool pattern oh man that hook that hook got me just a plain yellow one i don't really think there's a bad color for a hair jig but just some Looks like a black and orange. Here's more of like a, a fish, you know, so I used to do very well with these two. This brown and green. Let me show you a little quicker there. Do that by. So, you know, it's funny to have like all these colors when, hmm, that hook got me good. Chartreuse. When really, there's really like three colors I like to use. Now, as I said, any of these are great. They all work. I've caught fish on a lot of these different hair jigs over the years. I mean, you can see I've got a ton of them. You know, they were so inexpensive that every time I'd go, and, and you do lose them. You know, if you're fishing an open hook on the bottom, you know, in those days, my early days of throwing the hair jig, I kind of just threw it out there and worked it along the bottom. I didn't swim it as much as I do now. But that brown with that, that like light color was always good. I mean, they're all good. So that's my box of the ones I don't even use that much anymore. So as you can see, it's pretty loaded up. Of course, now I've got a mess here. I think you guys can see this at the, oops, I'm knocking the camera. I'll have to clean this out after I'm done with this video. But uh, 
you guys know that when I throw a hair jig, the one I use the most, I've talked about Bill Alexander's MTO uh, lures, hair jigs. That's kind of my go-to now. And when I was fishing the other day, this is just how I fish. This is just a black. You guys can see that. It's the black MTO quarter ounce hair jig. And this is, um, I think this is a seven foot medium ardent rod. Let me just double check. Yeah, seven foot medium rod. This is one of those new Enigma um, 300 series spinning reels I picked up. They're on, they're on sale for like 20 bucks. So I grabbed a couple of them. Six pound fluoro. And I'm just, I just was casting it out and slowly reeling it. Like a, it's like you're, it's a, I don't want to say it's like you're slow rolling. It's like you're, 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 it's like you're cranking a tiny crankbait just right along the bottom. And that water is really cold. As I said, 42 degree water. And that's surface 42. So I'm sure it was in the 30s deeper. That's why those fish were so lethargic. But you guys know that I love the, the different hair jigs that Bill makes. He makes like, this is, this one, these are like football head styles. And I'll leave, leave, even though I've left his number a million times, I'll leave the link again. Um, he doesn't have, a, he, he took the website down, but you can just call him up and get anything you want. This looks like my screen's a little crooked here. Let me just straighten that out a little bit. Okay, that's better. Hope that wasn't too crooked for you guys. Um, these green ones are great. But really, you know, having all these different colors is great. But really, the, the one I tie on the most is the black one. I use that a lot. I like the browns. The different brown ones he makes they're great and i will switch off every now and then i'll put the the pork on like i told you guys throw it out there and just work it along the bottom and i kind of do like short hops with it you know trying to make it look maybe more like a crayfish just short hops on the bottom and here's that black uh here's a even a bigger one the three eighths which is fine too if you're swimming it i can throw it further if i throw a three eighths that, here's that like that green that I think they, he calls that olive green. It's a great color. Really, I think if you have the black and the brown and the green, you pretty much have everything you need. I mean, if I was going to get one, I would get the black one. That seems to work the best. Let's see what else we got here. Here's the brown one. You guys can see that. I'll take one out and show it to you quick. But it doesn't really get any easier uh, fishing wise. I can get this package open and throwing this hair jig around I can get this out of course it's stuck on the other one so there's your I think that's a quarter let me just double check I believe that's a quarter most of the ones I have are quarter so there's your quarter ounce hair jig that's a brown and the brown is a great color and you can see how it's just like a just your jig head and then then, it's, then the wrap here and then all the different hair that he uses and that hook is a great hook great hook throw it out light line spinning and then just slowly reel it back to the boat slowly reel it back to the boat, especially when it's cold if you find them i had a day in jersey uh, a few years ago where i was fishing one of the reservoirs by me that i fished a lot <clears throat> and um i could not <laughs> get a bite to save my life on anything when I thought it should be jerkbait city. Um, once again, me telling the fish what they should want, not, not, not me listening to what the fish are telling me and fished a lot around the lake, nothing, nothing, nothing. Finally, I got put the hair jig on and started swimming it around and found an area that was loaded up and it was fish after fish after fish where I could catch nothing on anything else. I'm thinking it with this 40 degree plus water, upper forties, they should be killing a jerkbait did not want it they were loaded up on a hump just hanging out it's like i think every fish in the lake was in that spot and find and getting that hair jig and slowly reeling it through there i don't i i, I just loaded up smallly after smallly after smallly it was great and um i even left the area let it calm down and went back like a couple hours later and caught a few more then i went back there the next week and didn't catch one fish so they were they were gone but they were in that spot for some reason and uh, the hair jig was the ticket because I threw a jerk bait through there. I was I was dragging a Ned through there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, but I, I've got obviously a ton of MTO hair jigs, but I also got a few more here I'll show you. 
and um, you can even go get some bigger hair jigs. This is like a yellow perch. I forget who made these. If I could remember, but they made these yellow perch ones for me that are really cool. Years back, I got these, the, these ordered these. These quarter ounce perch ones I thought were great. Um, this is a company called uh, Down Home Lures, B and C hair jigs. I got some from them. There's so many companies out there that make great hair jigs. I think I, I some of these, there was an article in, in Fisherman a few years ago that mentioned a lot of these brands. And I, here's like the Kalen's Marabou jig, which is very, very popular. I'll just see if there's any other types here. You guys have seen all those. More Kalen's. You know, here's a, a quarter ounce black hair jig. Here's a Valley Angler. Don't remember that store, but I bought a bunch of hair jigs from at some point. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Well, wherever Valley Angler is, I got these hair jigs back in the day. Do not know, remember where that is or where it was or where it still is. But that's what all these PDG, PDG hair jigs. And I got them at the Valley Angler. So nice looking. If I'm ever in a store and I see a hair jig that I like, I will grab it just to try it out because I just like hair jigs. Uh, let's see. What's this? This is just a bunch of, looks like. Oh, this is, uh, this is a company called, they make what they call the River Bug. I don't remember the name. But they made some nice hair jigs back in the day that I got from them. I'm sure they're still making them. But, ouch. You can see. They're great. It's a, it's a great way to fish, especially, especially. Now, there are guys who, you can catch fish on them all year long. I don't tend to do it as much in the summertime. I should probably try it more. This is the... Mississippi Middle, uh, Mississippi Missile Coyote. I forget who made those for me. I'd have to look that up, but just some cool hair jigs out there. Three-eighths, different cool, different types of hair jigs. So they're endless. And there's even more. For you guys, this is something I've only done a little. It hasn't worked I haven't, I shouldn't say it hasn't worked for me. I haven't done it a lot, so I can't really say. But a very popular technique in the summertime is getting out on uh, ledges and, and humps and throwing these big, you know, preacher style. This is the half ounce uh, prayer jig from Cumberland Pro, uh, Pro Lures. I got these a few years ago and I tried it and didn't really do much with it but i it's one of those things where i was just giving it a shot see if it works and okay i'm not catching anything doing it. i'm going to go on and do the stuff but i'm it's one of those things that you really have to you know put your time into but this is taking you know hair jigging to more of a power fishing in my opinion uh style <clears throat> throwing these big hair jigs out and you've seen the pros do it in summertime tournaments these big hair jigs out and this one is a half ounce which is probably they probably even make a three quarter yeah make a five eighths and a three quarter throwing these out you know, casting gear, chucking them out, deep water, and throwing this and ripping it off. And there's there's a couple techniques. You can reel it really fast and let it let it die. Reel it really fast, let it die. Almost like you're speed cranking, and then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna this is gonna go you know fast and then full. Fast and then full. I haven't done it a lot, so I can't say it's a great technique. Uh, any of you guys out here have done that and made it work? Any tips you can put in the comments for all of us would be great. I've only done it a little bit. Not enough where it's like a, a go-to thing I want to do. Uh, this is the Jinko fishing version of that. I don't know if they have a name for this one. They just call it the Big Wig Magnum Hair Jig. I think Sixth Sense just came out with the... A, a flow or something. I forget the name of it, but it looks cool. I'm sure I'll try those. Here's another one of those Cumberland Pro Lures. Uh, I believe it's a half ounce. Oh, it's a five eighths. That's a white and chartreuse one. I'll show you that one quick. If it's something you want to dive into and try out. And if you guys 
So, you know, you can just imagine this looking like a bait fish. Maybe you have bait fish that's dying. If it's going really fast, then dying. Or going really fast. Or you're just popping it up and down. Back to the boat. Interesting summertime technique. I have not tried it a lot. And here's another one of those. Cumberland Pros. This is the 5 8 uh, White and red with white red thread with pearl shimmer. So it's just a different color. So I got a few of these. There's a couple of more hanging back there. So if you want to go to the more offshore, summertime, hot water hair jig technique, that's an option. It's something I'm not, I, I'm not going to say I'm not good at it. I just haven't done it enough. I've tried it a few times. Um, you think it was something I'd love to do because it's para fishing. And when I go up to Champlain this summer for camp, I might bring those with me and just try them on some of those humps. Um, a lot, you know, we go out there in the summer and throw the Carolina rig and the, the football head. I may try those just to see. I, I know that I've, I get hung up a lot with them <laughs> because I'm throwing them out, you know, and you know, it's an open hook, but uh, I have gotten hung up a few times with them. And that, that's probably why I got frustrated with it. I was getting hung up, but it's an, it's an option for you. It's an option for you. But what I do most of the time, guys, just to kind of wrap this up for you, take one of these, take a, a black hair jig, quarter ounce, eighth ounce, 360, whatever size you like. I kind of stick with a quarter because I can throw it a little further. And I just swim it slowly back to the boat. Slowly back to the boat. See if they'll take it. Um, it's really a great, great, great um, cold water technique. The um, the hair jig and the blade bait. If, if, I, if, if it's a struggle, if they're just not on that jerk bait bite, that's what I'll go to. That's what I'll go to. It, it, you would think I'd be smarter and do it faster because it's happened to me so many times where I have, I guess I'm just stubborn like most fishermen. Is I, I, want to, I want them to eat and I want to fish what I want to fish. I'm like, why are you not eating this jerkbait? You should be because I want to catch a fish on a jerkbait. You're passing up, you know, bites by not trying, you know, getting out deeper, maybe trying that, that blade bait or just swimming around that hair jig. Nice and easy, six, eight pound fluoro on your, um, your spinning setup, seven pound medium rod, nice and easy. And uh, it works. It definitely, definitely works. It's a great cold water technique. If you're, if nothing else is working for you, um, give it a shot, give it a shot. And if you're still somewhere in the country where you've got real cold water, my water here, um, as I said, last week was 42. Um, I went out yesterday and um, it was a good fishing day. The wind was awful. Um, I found one section of the lake that I could kind of fish. The wind wasn't too bad there, and there was a lot of fish there, and I caught eight, 10, whatever. Um, and the first fish I caught was the biggest fish. The second, I caught another largemouth later in the day, and I'll talk about all this when I, when I put that video together of my fishing trip. The Later in the day, I did catch another nice largey, but he got off by the boat, so I didn't get a, ch a chance to get a picture of him. Um, but another nice, you know, in that three, three to four pound range, I wouldn't say four, but you know, that three, three and a half range, another nice largey. And I think they're really just starting to come if, if it wasn't so, I mean, I like a little chop on the water when I'm jerkbait fishing. But if it wasn't so, I mean, it was just ridiculous, you know, gusts of wind. There was another area that I was looking forward to. I was waiting for the end of the day to go there. I know it's a rocky area. I figured it would be loaded with smallmouth. And I got over there and it was like a wind tunnel. <laughs> it was like, I caught two small, well... I had one smallie up there follow my jerkbait right to the boat, and I could see him. He was kind of circling it, but he never hit it. And um, and then a second later, I caught another small one. You'll see that on the video. But the wind was ripping. It was ripping. I, I couldn't fish it effectively. I could have If I could have sat in that area and really worked it with a jerkbait, um, I probably could have caught some some more fish there. But unfortunately, the conditions weren't uh weren't gonna happen in that spot with that wind because it was like it that seemed to be because that's where a spot where the lake gets narrow and the wind was just funneling right through there where i was i was like forget this this is not worth it and then i went back across the lake to the spot where i was catching them i caught like three or four more and so i was like yeah this is this is where they're at this is where they're at so for whatever reason that spot was was holding them maybe that's a an area where they like to spawn and they're just kind of moving into that spot but whatever but it was i'd never fished this lake before in the spring i've only been there in the summer and i'm i'm used to there you know flipping jigs around and throwing frogs and catching them here i'm and i always caught like little like dink smallies and then i finally caught some decent ones nothing huge but you know some decent smallies so now i know there's some 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 halfway decent uh ones in there um but that's really it so i'll, I'll put links 
I'll, I'll give you Bill's, if you want, if you're interested in MTO lures and Bill's um, hair jigs, which are my favorites, um, I'll leave his, his, his number in the uh, description. And, you know, Bill's old school, just give him a call and, and order what you want and he'll send it to you. Um, if there's any of these other ones that are still available, I mean, I'm sure Punisher jigs are still out there. Some of these are obviously, I, I don't, you know, <laughs> obviously I don't think you're going to find off the beaten path tackle anywhere. Um, but uh, the ones that I can find, I'll, I'll throw a link in, you know, uh, a link there for you guys. You can check them out. But any hair jig, you know, I like the MTO, MTO ones, whatever ones you guys like. Some guys tie their own. Um, whatever ones you like, go with it. They're, they're not that different as far as the way they're made and the way the style of the head is. So if you've got one you have confidence in, just use it. But, um, you know, it's a great, great, great cold water technique that, I'm, that I, I really, I, I should really probably start with that <laughs> instead of always trying to force feed them in 41 or 42 degree water a jerk bait. When I should just say, uh, I should just, if I swam this, uh, this hair jig around all day, I probably would have had a better day because that's just the way it is when that water's cold. But, but that's it. So any questions on the technique, any of the, the brands I had here that I showed you, I might have showed you too fast. You want more info on, let me know. Some of these other ones that I got, if I, if these companies are still around, I'll let you know, like this Down Home Lures. If they're still they're there, I know I have these, and they're fairly new. They probably are around. I can't remember who made these these ones. I want to say River Bug, but I don't know if that's or Jensen Jigs or something. I have to, I'm sorry, I don't remember, but I'll have to, if I can find it, I'll put the link, because they make nice stuff, and you might be interested in it. But any, any ones that I can find links for, I'll give to you guys. You can to share with you. You can check them out. But like I said, any questions, let me know. So um, appreciate you guys watching the video. I know I haven't made a full-length video in a few days, and I've been meaning to do this, but I've been a little busy. And I guess if you're busy fishing, that's, that's a good thing. But I wanted to get this video done tonight and, uh, and share it with you guys. So um, like I said, any questions, let me know. So uh, please like the video, share the video. If you haven't, if it's the first time you've seen one of my videos and haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Be nice to have you a part of our, our community here, okay? So I will see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.